Well, good morning from New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Dutit. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Eight children and a security guard are dead in Serbia, and a fellow student is accused of shooting them in the middle of the day. What we're learning about the investigation and the accused gunman. The manhunt for the Texas mass shooting suspect accused of gunning down his own neighbors is over. We're going to tell you about the tip that led police right to him and the other arrest police announced a short time ago. We are hearing from a mother and activist in East Palestine, Ohio, three months after a train carrying toxic chemicals derailed. She'll tell us about the issues people are still facing and her work to make sure the air in her town is clean. Plus, electric vehicle owners listen up. With more EVs on the road, competition to get a charger is only growing. We're going to dig into the proper etiquette for giving your electric car the power it needs. Hmm, all right. And the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has announced its new inductees today. We're going to discuss the fan favorites to make it into the class of 2023 and the other musicians on the list. This was a pretty exciting list, Anne Marie. Uh, is that of Cindy Lauper? Is that was Cindy Lauper, uh, uh, but I, I don't think she's on the list, actually. Oh, <laughs> we just showed be. a nice picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The inductees are people ranging from Missy Elliott to Kate Bush. Uh, you, you know, Willie Nelson is on the list. I mean, but what's kind of interesting, we were talking about it earlier on CBS Mornings, is I think they should rename the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame like the Popular Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's sort of become uh, that. Because, huh? It's sort of become that. Missy Elliott? It's sort of become that because yeah. Missy Elliott is amazing and awesome, but mm -hmm. I don't know that I would put her in the category of rock and roll the same way that I might necessarily put the Foo Fighters, for example. Yeah, that's okay. I'm willing to open it up. You Not want to that open anyone, it up? You're good with that? Not that I have a vote or anything in this, but yeah. <laughs> but you have a voice, Anne Marie, and that's all that counts. Uh, all right, we're going to dig into that a little bit later uh, in the hour, but let's begin this morning with some breaking news out of Serbia, where police say at least nine people were killed in a school shooting in the country's capital. The dead include eight students and a security guard. Several others have been injured. CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayeb is following this for us from London. MTS, uh, thanks for joining us. What are we learning about this shooting?